Hey friends, so we're going back to basics today. It's going to be just a video with this uh, camera um, because I need to, before I start work, I need to actually do my reset for the week. Uh, today is Monday as I'm recording this and I should have done it yesterday on Sunday, but I was still dealing with the fact that I decided over the weekend on Saturday to completely switch up my house uh, set up. And so for those of you who don't know, I had originally moved my office into what was my bedroom and moved my bed into my living room just because I felt like the layout of the house, the apartment just worked better that way. But I decided over the weekend <laughs> that it did fact it in fact that it in fact did not work that way. So I decided to do all of those things by myself um and change the office to the living room and the bedroom back into the bedroom um and so I have like massive shoulder pain and uh yesterday on Sunday I was still having to organize things and make sure that my desk was ready for me to start working on Monday mm -hmm. uh yeah so I didn't get to do my my weekly reset and so I just want to quickly get that done and I figured that I would just chat along with you as I did that because you guys are long overdue for a long chatty journaling planning video so that's pretty much the intro. Uh, we'll go ahead and get started on this. I don't know if I'm going to add music to it yet or anything like that. I kind of just want to get through it so that I can start working before some of my clients start calling. So yeah, that's, that's what we're doing. Okay, so I don't need this. Also, side note, I am still in the process of backlogging. I have not finished. And I just, I am so, like, I need to be in here already. I am, oh, sneak peek for those of you. So this is kind of like what it's looking like so far. I only have, and let me see, I, I have to cover an image in here. Um, I only have this so far. So I literally have only <laughs> backlogged up to the fourth. Oh no, gosh, guys, it's so hard to backlog. I have a video that's gonna be dedicated to that, I think. Um, it's not gonna be a super long video. The whole process is taking me so long and I wanna be in here already. So uh, I just need to like get on my, get on my, my business and, and get backlogging. But life is, my life is so busy, y'all. Like it's so busy and juggling all these different businesses and juggling a house and my pets and my hobbies, making sure I don't get burnt out. It's just, it's, it's rough. And like, I don't have kids, so I can't even imagine how much more difficult it would be. Um, okay. So this is my health planner for those of you who, um, don't really watch many YouTube videos or didn't catch it. I posted on Saturday um a video of me it's a quick one like 16 minutes if i remember correctly of me um updating this one the health my health journal so if you're interested in that i'll leave it in the cards um okay i don't need to do anything in my commonplace or i mean i guess i do need to do something in my commonplace but it's not the time i have to get my functional stuff ready Okay, so I have to, so this is my everyday carry. I mentioned it in my plan with me, my most recent plan with me, that I'm using this as kind of like a catch-all-ish type situation. Um, I'm kind of seeing how it goes. So let's see here. So basically everywhere I go, I'm just like taking this so that I can just jot things down. I don't have anything this week, right? No. Okay. So I don't really need to do anything with this right now. So we will chuck it aside. Let's see. Let me just catch up on my health planner because I promised myself, I made a promise to myself that I would be updating this. So let's see. steps app Friday and you guys might be looking at my steps and being like wow she barely moves but when I tell you that I used to be extremely like um 
the word that comes up for me is sedentary, but I feel like that's not the right word. I basically didn't used to like be very active at all. So even reaching like 2,500 steps a day for me is much more than I used to do. And so, yeah, basically just don't like judge people for the amount of steps that they make. On Saturday, you can see that I went crazy around the house because my steps were 10,000. 984 and if you do 10,000 steps a day that doesn't seem like anything to you whatever but to me that was like I don't think I've ever made that many steps since I like visited New York or something I don't know it's like JK I was like averaging like 16,000 steps when I visited New York a couple years back three six four nine okay so that's that and I think I did log <clears throat> my meal times let's see so this was the second yeah which would have been saturday okay cool i did log them i put them where i usually log my media journal my media journal stuff so that i wouldn't forget okay so this was 6 30 and then this was 7 okay so that's pretty much that. I did do PM shower yesterday and PM shower yesterday. Mm -hmm. Definitely went outside on Saturday. And then I do have my period, which I'm trying to figure out still how I want to track my period in here. But I just want to make sure that I have the information in and then I can always decide to change it later. Okay, let's look for my sleep. So on Saturday, the 2nd, we slept six hours, which is over here. My grandparents were coming in from Florida this day, so I had to wake up super early. Their plane arrived at nine. And then on the 3rd, I went from 2312. That was eight hours. Okay. And then yesterday I had two cups of coffee. And on Saturday I had three cups of coffee. Don't ask me how I remember that. Honestly, I don't know. Because I have terrible memory. Okay, let's go get my... Is this the right color? Yeah. I have really, really bad memory. So that's why I always log stuff in my phone or or in the everyday carry or wherever I can log it, uh, which seems redundant, right? Because it's like, if you're already carrying a notebook, just put it in your notebook. But I don't always carry this around, guys. I guess planner people would understand. Um, and then... Hot hazard way of me tracking my period in here. <laughs> uh, gotta figure it out. Okay. Move this out of the way. Also, look at my Porth Porthos. Pothos. She's like growing. I salvaged her from a hardware store. She was not doing great, and she is thriving. I love her. My little typewriter over here, uh, which I will be making a video about the typewriter at some point and what I'm using it for. I am gonna do a planner update i'm just going through like this i i don't know maybe you guys will will input we'll put your input in the comments or maybe i'll do a community post but i'm wavering between doing a planner update now or just waiting until the end of march and doing a quarterly update in a more like tetrakaigi type of way i don't know i haven't decided yet so if you have any idea if you have any preferences on that if you would rather a planner update now um because you're just that interested or if you would rather it be a quarterly update i guess that you probably wouldn't have an opinion on that but i figured i'd ask just in case you do um okay and then let's see here sleep for today i was supposed to wake up at 5 30 a.m because again i didn't do my reset yesterday and i wanted to do it so that i could get my week on the right foot and so i was months i was supposed to wake up early and <laughs> Laughing at myself as usual. 
I mean, I did wake up. I just went, ex- I just went ex- back to bed like immediately. Um, I did mention I have really bad shoulder pain, so let me just add that here. Ch- shoulder, and it's not so much pain; it's more like a tingling in the shoulder, like it's um like pins and needles type feeling. My mic is like going down, so bear with me here. I think I might need to like change this. I hope the audio wasn't too bad there. Okay, um, I've had two cups of coffee so far. Haven't had my first meal yet. I feel like my energy levels are pretty good. And my stress levels are pretty more elevated than usual, I think. Okay. And so I haven't done energy and stress in a while. So let's do here. Energy is purple. Do not ask me why these colors. I have I have no idea why these colors. They are just the ones I chose because I think that they looked pretty together with the pink that I use for sleep. And also I just like reuse the same colors. Like these are the same colors I use in my media journal. Cause I don't want to have like a bunch of different markers that I then don't use. And, which is the case sometimes, mind you, is the case. I did do an AM shower and I did wash my hair just now. Okay, so we're pretty much good here. Let me just add my dots. Since I'm already here, might as well. Okay, so it is so hot here today in comparison. Like, it's February, and these temperatures are not normal. <laughs> again, again, I'm not complaining about them. It's just weird. And then it is sunny today. It's beautifully sunny. I think it is meant to snow at some point during the week. We shall see, I guess. See, I haven't even used the 50s stickers. Well, it's because I started this, these actual stickers in the winter. So why would I use the 50 stickers? But Okay. So I think we're done for now. Oop. And then the, the goal is to only really update this either at night or the morning after. Um, probably the morning after. That way I'm always like logging it in the morning and it just keeps up. Oh my goodness, guys, my shoulder is killing me. Okay, so that's that. Time for work. Which I still haven't decided what to put on this cover. So I just stuck in some prints that I have of Jujutsu Kaisen fan art. Fun fact. Okay. And hold on a second, because I didn't censor anything. Okay, so just went ahead and looked at what I was doing for last week. And so it's videos. And if you kind of want um, a bit more like information on how I'm keeping things in the week, I do kind of go through it. You know, I just realized that it's this video is probably going to be shaky. Oh, I don't like that. I have to figure out since I moved the setup, it might not be as stable as it used to be. Sorry if it's shaky, guys. Um, so yeah, in the plan with me, I kind of go through a bit more detail of how I'm keeping this um, journal. So I think I put home first, yeah. Which honestly, I think I'll put home later. WVS and then... And I'm just keeping track of my start numbers and end numbers for the week. Um, something that I used that I was doing here, and I will, I think I can show you, um, is I was keeping a running log of when I was posting on uh, the social media platforms that I'm on, and instead I decided to move that to the year in uh, what is it, the calendex. Um, so since this is the Avec, I just renamed it. I have um, house stuff in the other one. And then I just um, made this January to June so that they live within their respective books. And I don't have to be referencing the other books uh, after I've done, I've finished with them. So videos, writing, 
LNM, WBS, and home. Uh, this week, I don't really have any special events. And then for videos, I do really want to record the February wrap up. I had thought that I wasn't going to do that, but I am. Um, and I kind of already have a plan for how I'm going to do it. So I want to see if I can record that this week so that it can come out probably on Friday. That's the goal, at least. Record, uh, edit, and schedule for Friday release. So that's my main goal. And I have been trying to post um, two times a week uh, for now. It'll eventually go back to just one time a week, but I've been trying um, to post twice a week uh, lately. Wow, this is like really shaky. I'm sorry. I'll have to see if I can stabilize in post-production. Um, but I think this week I am going to just post once because I want to focus on the website, uh, and writing. I want to get a newsletter out, draft, newsletter for Substack. For those of you who don't know, I have a newsletter on Substack right now. I've only released once, um, because I've been focusing on YouTube, but I want to, I want to get on that so I think I'm probably going to uh, do that at some point this week so that I can get that scheduled for next Monday and then ultimately focus on the website I think I want to finish the services page. At least the copy. Because something that I'm having issues with is um, images. And I don't want that to be a hindrance. So I want to get that done. Finish page, services page, copy, determine blog categories. Let's see, what else do I want to do with the website? Um, I pretty much have most of the homepage set up. Oh, the about me section. Finish about me. Copy. So I think those things, those are the only things I can really think of right now. If I have anything else that I need to add, I'll just add that later. For WVS, this is related to my VA business, so I need to send out monthly retainer invoices. Send out since we are starting a new month to clients. Let's see, anything else generic that I can add here? Because this is more um, confidential information, so I'll just finish adding this off camera. Um, I think that's pretty much it on the general side of things. So I'll add everything else that's related to that. I didn't get to deep clean the bathroom, which was my goal for last week. Because I decided to move everything around. So that'll have to be done this week at some point. Deep clean bathroom. I like to deep clean it every once a month. Like the general cleaning happens every week, but the deep clean happens once a month. So um, let's see. What else for home finish? Oh, I have to move the drawers. And organize all my craft stuff. Yep. Oh, and then here also for writing, I have to um, draft blog post for Feb wrap up. Yep, okay. And 
don't think I have anything else that I want to add here. Color code. Okay, and um, let's see, I need to set up my, so something that I'm doing is, can I show you? I don't think I can show you like a specific. So something that I'm doing is that I am gonna be rating my over my days based on what I got done and didn't get done, based on what I planned on doing, right? Like, it's not so much what I did or didn't do in the day, it's what it was in comparison to what I had wanted to do, right? And so I'm gonna be doing an overall rating for each day, and then at the end of the week, I'm going to list my wins, struggles, and reflections, plus an overall rating for the week, because I am a part of a workshop uh, tier on Patreon by, that's, um, it's Jess's Patreon from over at Plan by Jyla, and we do monthly business check-ins, and um, I feel like doing this is going to help me have a better idea come the end of the month, what I did and didn't do in the month that I enjoyed or struggled with, um, because again, I have terrible memory. So that's kind of like what I'm doing, and the overall rating thing was inspired by Erin Ware. Um, I can't remember what video it was that I watched of hers, but she was rating her days and I really, I really liked that. So I'm going to be doing that. So let me just go ahead and set up my days. In my plan with me, I mentioned that I, um, only really like setting up two days at a time in case I have an epiphany at some point during the week and decide that I want to change out the layouts. I'm not stuck with the layout for X amount of days. And then make myself not want to be in the journal because I don't want to do the layout that I had established. So I only set up two days at a time. And I tend to, with my tasks, I also tend not to migrate them when they're on the same spread. I kind of treat them as one. Um, once I flip the page, then I migrate tasks. That way I don't have to be... Ooh, ew. <laughs> that way I don't have to be changing tasks from one day to the next and... I don't know. It just feels like it's been working better for me uh, in the past couple days that I've been doing it that way. So that's that. And then let me go. And the, I do the weekly reflection on Sunday because I try not to work on Sundays. So since I try not to work on Sundays, I'm just using that page so that I don't end up um, just wasting pages. Okay, so overall rating. And there's something, for me at least, about having a bold, <laughs> I don't know what it is that I just absolutely love seeing it. It just makes me so happy. It, it's probably a, the artistic side of me, but. Okay, weekly overview. Can you guys believe we're in March already? March. And today's what, the third? Today is the, no, today's the 4th, March 4th to 10th, and then we got wins, struggles, and reflections, right, was the third one? So that's set up. Rating. Rating. And then I've been using this as a like a reflection area. So okay. I'll leave it like that. Okay, and I'm pretty much done then. I This was much shorter than I thought. I'm so happy that it didn't take me forever to do. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I would normally do my time blocking, but I have to figure out what exactly it is that I need to do today still. And since it's client related, I don't wanna do that on camera. So I will go ahead and do that off camera. And 
yeah, that's pretty much that. Thank you so much for joining me um, on this little uh, weekly reset, I guess is what you can call it. I hope that you have a good week and that um, everything goes well and as planned and sending you good vibes all around. Thank you so much for being here. I will catch you in the next video. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>